just thought of. So in boot camp, the whole time you're in boot camp, the drill instructors they always wear their they always wear Charlies, their Charlie uniform, right? They got their campaign cover on and their Charlie uniform, and so you get used to them in that khaki and green look. Recruits are all wearing camouflage, so we're all in. Back then it was woodlands, so we're all in woodlands. Well, you transition in the last phase. Back then you would go to the school of infantry. You go to Camp Pendleton for like combat training. And the drill instructors obviously went with you. And so we get up to we get up to SOI and we're in the barracks and there's 30 guys in a space about this big. Well, we're all we're all crammed in this little space. Sergeant Major Booker is standing on a footlocker and he's in camis, right? He's in camis, but he's standing on a footlocker at the other end. And he's yelling at us about a fucking pack of soap that is missing. There's a pack of soap that's missing, and he's jumping up and down on this footlocker and cussing us out about this fucking pack of soap, and I'm like, fucking pack, what the fuck, this is some bullshit, I'm, you know, standing in this crowd, there's got, there's marines all around me, and I'm standing in this crowd, I'm like, this is fucking stupid, and he's going off, finally he's like, so, everything comes up in footlockers, and he's like, find that goddamn soap, and so, like a fucking comedy, everybody's doing this. Everybody is doing this, running in circles because there's nowhere for the soap to have gone. So everybody's kind of in this tight packed circle in this little area. And I got my head down and I'm walking. I'm kind of doing this, just walking like this is fucking stupid. And I'm walking, I'm like this is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. And I walk over like this and there's this fucking marine standing right in front of me. Just standing right in front of me. And I reach up and I grab his fucking, I grab his uniform, I grab his fucking camis. So I'm still looking down, I grab his camis and I go, who the fuck? And as soon as I said, oh, shit. fuck, I knew who it was. Just because I went, who the fuck? And the only reason why I knew who it was, is because he wasn't moving, he was standing right in front of me. And I go, who the fuck? And it's Sergeant Major Booker. Oh, hell. And Sergeant Major, so I immediately look up and I see it's him. I'm holding his fucking uniform like this, holding his camis. I let go of his shit and go immediately go to attention like this, and I hear Sergeant Major, you know, Sergeant Major goes. Now remember, there's 45 recruits, well, all 45 recruits all around, and Sergeant Major Booker goes, "Who the fuck? Who the fuck?" And just like you, you, I know none of you are gonna believe this, but just like a cartoon, his fucking arm went back. And then went back, and it went down the squad bay, and then went all the way out the window, and then he came back, and he fucking punched me in the chest so hard, I flew about ten feet in the squad bay. And I am not kidding you, the minute he hit me, there was nobody in the fucking room. Everybody was by their mom. Everybody was with that intensity right there, with that intensity, tell us about what type of camera? And why you shouldn't use Typhon camouflage? Because it's not really camouflage. You know, it, it's it's kind of hard for me to hate on Typhon when it's, it's when people are doing Typhon and toxic, Typhon and royal it's blue. More of a fashion. Than it is a you're camouflage. you're really making a fashion statement. You're not making a camouflage statement. So it's kind of hard to hate on. That's why Typhon that's why we sell so much of it. When Oakley started doing camouflage shit, their sales reignited. <laughs> They always had the cool fucking buckles. It was all proprietary. Like, they weren't using Cobra buckles or anything. Now they use that <laughs> shitty Raptor buckle. Yes, a Raptor buckle is a fucking shitty buckle. Yes, Octavio, I know you designed it. Yes, I like you. Yes, we're buddies. Yes, I used to build, I used to build all your silly shit you'd bring into the shop. But your buckle sucks compared to a Cobra buckle. It has no fit or finish. It has no refinement. It has no fucking place. It, it's just, it's ugly, man. You used fucking barbecue paint on it. Come on. <laughs> and you want to charge me more for it, and it's, it's made in the United States. It's not the fucking buckle a Cobra buckle is. You make me order a fucking exuberant amount compared to, I can just go buy one Cobra buckle. Dude, I buy fucking no bullshit. I buy $30,000 in Cobra buckles a week yeah, it, comes yeah. in this yeah, building. Just, but don't fucking try to make me buy your shitty buckle in a quantity. I, I buy quantity. I would more than exceed, I, I would buy more buckles than you could produce right now. But your buckle's fucking ugly, and that's what and that's what Oakley uses that ugly fucking Raptor buckle. So and it's got rivets. It's fucking. It's just na it's nasty. It's fucking hideous. <laughs> like they don't even. Ugh. 
mistakes were made. It's like it's like having a really nice truck with king shocks all over the place, and you went and bought. You took a coil over off of this fucking Dodge and put it in one corner. That's what it's like. So, anyways, um, it, it, that's what it is. It's, it's that it has that appearance of camouflage, but we throw the color in there, and you got something for everybody. Now I have one camo pattern that I can make look ten different ways by throwing colored thread into it. And guys, eat that shit up, man. We literally we cannot keep it on the shelf. There's not a fucking piece of anything in here with colored thread in it ever. But we might build 200, you know, micro rigs and multicam. They'll all sell them fast, but not as fast as some shit with some thread. Right. Nope. So we do that, and it's uh, it's tactical, and everybody knows, and nobody gives a shit. Whatever, it just fucking looks awesome. But it, uh, Typhon's not sure if it wants to be like a dinosaur or a reptile or a bird or a fish. It's got like different scales. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like that Predator Mirage camouflage. And it's the same in the mandrake. Yeah. It's like you want to be a green bird, you get the mandrake. You want to be a desert bird, you get the highlander or the nomad. I, I love the typhon shit. I think I think multicam fucked up. I, I like Caleb. I love the multicam pattern. Um, but they fucked up coming to market two, three years late with the multicam black and the multicam alpine and shit. Um, Cryptek ate their ass, man. Cryptek released all those patterns right away. Um, Multicam Black came out, everybody fucking wanted it. It's just how the ATAX, ATAX FG, ATAX FG, ATAX FG, ATAX FG, ATAX full of green. You saw all these fucking photos and these half naked bitches in ATAX. As soon as we could get ATAX, we couldn't fucking sell that. We still have original rolls of ATAX FG. We're buying seconds to line our bags with in ATAX FG. I pay $6 a, a fucking yard for you know, normal material for multicam, I want to say we probably, I think we pay upwards of like $11 a yard, and we buy quantities. Um, Typhon and all the Cryptek patterns, we pay 11 to $13 a yard, and we buy like a fucking semi-truck rolls up here. But ATAX FG, they ran so much of that shit, we are buying it right now for $2 a yard. So a lot of our bags had ATAX FG inside it, because we get it so cheap to double the bottom of the bags up, make them stiffer and just where we want some uh, reinforcement and shit. It just didn't go anywhere, and that's how the multicam black, as soon as it hit the market, there was all this fucking chatter about everybody wanted it, we brought in four rolls of it. So, 200 yards. We made some shit, I was all excited about it. That shit, it didn't fucking auction, it didn't sell. And now, like when we started reading, you know, six yeah, months, a year later, we started fucking, we had all that material. Jeff's like, let's use this shit up. So we built it, and fucking every, they ate it up. Like, we went to order some, we have standing reoccurring orders. We're like, where the fuck is our multicam at? And we fucking shoot an email off. They're like, yeah, we're backwards six weeks on the shit. So there's now there's another there's a market for it all of a sudden. But um, you put red thread in it, you put blue thread in it. It's a whole other market. A dude who might not buy multicam, you put blue thread in it, he'll buy it. You put toxic thread in it, you put red thread in it, orange thread. Like who'd have thought? I fucking I hate orange. There's not a there's probably not anything orange inside this whole fucking building. But every time we sew, uh, you know, orange thread on something, yeah, man, that was pretty good. Yeah. Same with that Tiffany blue shit. Yeah. Tiffany blue, yeah. Do we know who owns the woodland pattern? Nobody probably at this point. I mean, what, as an actual woodland? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I guarantee you nobody owns that. They're doing it as early as Vietnam, right? At the end, right yeah, at the end. The end. So 70, 69, 70, 71? I'd, probably say 70, I'd say 71, 72. We need to get some red dye and make some woodland black. So we did We did that. We were doing that. Um, you can almost get Cordura to hold. We dyed out a bunch of shit. We even dyed out like the old LC2, you know, OD green shit. It mm -hmm. comes out kind of grayish. But we red dyed um, Thousand Denier Woodland. Uh, the uniforms hold real well, BDUs. But we tried doing it on camo and it just it doesn't hold well. Like we had a bunch of... Uh, Nylon tubular webbing that was yellow. We're like, what the fuck are we gonna do with this? You couldn't get that shit to die no matter what you did to it. <laughs> it wouldn't die. We would paint it, all kinds of shit. It's because it was neon. Because it's nylon. Nylon doesn't hold well, which is what the Cordura is. Yeah, it's got yeah. so much water. But we can get, um, we have rolls of woodland in here now. And we can sell it in small numbers. If we had, I couldn't sell 100 micro rigs in it today, I could sell. 30 would sell tonight if we if we put them up for sale, if we had them available, they'd, they'd go tonight, yeah. overnight. Um, and Jeff Blanton would buy them all. Yes. <laughs> Jeff would buy yes, them all. Would. 
<laughs> so would uh, Casey Bradshaw. Yeah. Yes. I still like woodland. We, I like woodland more than a couple months I can. You can get three color desert, but we should keep. You cannot, and I was buying seconds. I was getting six color chocolate chip for $2.50 a yard. So we were just cutting it up, putting it inside of stuff, sewing it in the middle of shit where you'd never see it. And the next time we went to get it, it was gone. Somebody had bought all of it, it's gone. I'd look every six months or so for it. If I could get chocolate chip, we'd build fucking, we'd build the whole line of chocolate chip. I'm surprised that you haven't seen it. Right, because it started. But even out even over in Iraq, Army. even the Iraqi army is not using our chocolate chip. It's so different using now. The tricolor, ain't they? Uh uh. No, no it's a chocolate banana. chip, but it has like grays and black. It's, it's weird. Well, they did a. They have a. So we gave them. We gave them all our chocolate. I mean, like chocolate yeah, chip units. Yeah. So if you get if like the regular. I mean, I don't even think they're wearing it now. But when we were there, the regular troops were actually wearing our chocolate chips. All the officer guys were wearing something that they had modified, and I believe it was coming out of Saudi Arabia, where that gray color that you were yeah. looking at. But they're like, because we've seen even web gear built in. Yeah. We've seen full on armor covers and shit built out of that. We can get some weird camo, like the, um, the, Mexi uh, the Mexico Army. Oh, yeah, Mexican, Mexican Army. Army. We got some of that shit in there. Yeah. And then London Bridge had their own pattern made. They've got that LBX shit. And then uh, London Bridge, Mexico, LB, LBX or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They'll swear to God it's not, but that's it might as well be. Yeah. Just like Shellback Tactical fucking. And uh, what's it, Grey Ghost? Grey Ghost. That's uh, Tac Taylor, Mexico. Somebody's going to call up me pissed off. Fuck you guys. Fuck Tac Taylor. <laughs> I was friends with Coffee Logan. I was friends with the other dudes. And uh, fuck you, Tactical Taylor. It's not Taylor anymore, though, right? It's no, it's Taylor as in Taylor. Yeah, but I mean, he, he's dead, isn't he? Logan, Coffee Logan, the original owner of Tactical yeah. Taylor, is dead. Yes. Yeah. In a Ferrari. What did he hit? Is it part, part, part moving van? Oh, shit. Part truck, yeah. yeah. What did he let it go? There's worse ways to die. Not mad at him. Yeah, yeah. You can't be mad. You can't him go. There's worse ways to die. Might as well be looking at your uh, His second in charge. Good friends with us, like he took care. Of. Like when we needed some shit that Tack Taylor wouldn't do for us, fucking Tack Taylor did it. Always, there's a lot of inner dispersion between these industries. Like we're good with most of the big guys. We'll we'll war the fuck out of them with the little guys though, because it's it's fun. It drives them crazy and it motivates me. There's some uh, there's some non-shaving armpit, non-deodorant wearing chick building belts, and uh, her husband makes holsters. She's copied, literally, dude, I'll make, Everything. see if they copied our toiletry bag, I mean fucking copied our grocery bag. They make two products we don't make. One's a fucking, um, harness. It's a cat harness. Harness, harness for a cat. Yeah. A cat. I and mean, when we say cat, we mean cat. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we mean little black cat yeah. she has. Key cat. And, uh, the other one is a, um, thing that carries firewood, which I have one in my garage. I bought it at, uh, Home Depot. Yeah, that's where he got it from. So we're going to build one just because they build it just as a oh, fuck you. And um, we're going to step their, they better step their cat game up because we have some cats coming that uh, are not house cats. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to add to the zoo. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yes, it is. Gonna do some, that's the only real thing that interests me. Like when I go to SHOT Show, you're like, oh, awesome, the Mark 19. Oh, awesome, fucking nylon gear. Oh, awesome, fucking underwater night vision con gear. That's fucking neat. I have all that shit. Underwater calm vision, night vision. Um, the only thing that interests me at Shot Show is the dog shit. <laughs> like that's the fucking it, man. That's all we're looking. It's because it's different. Yeah, well, I, it's because they had uh, Mark Echo, the the shoe dude, you know. Yeah. Echo in all the malls, and this giant fucking rubber uh, rhinoceros. And I've tried to buy one over and over. I can never. Every time I see one, they're gone. I want this huge rhino because I want to make a molly vest for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want. Yeah. Cause they had they had the rubber dogs, you know. These, they got these fucking dogs. They must weigh 200 pounds. They're made of like solid fucking rubber, and they'll hoist them up on a pulley and show how it suspends oh, yeah. and how that you know triangulates the weight and everything. We can make a goat vest. We can do a goat yeah, yeah, vest. Yeah, yeah. There's a, um, a lot of guys yeah. ask us about making canine vests. There's there's just multiple sizes to them. We we probably eventually will make something, but there are some some good companies out there doing dog yeah. stuff. There's a lot of good companies out there, and uh, we had to custom make everything. Guys making armor and shit, and they're just you know they're they're spun up to do that shit. 
and we do our shit better. That's why you don't see them doing toxic thread and stuff because it, it's a different skill set. Mm -hmm. For for all the toxic thread shit we put out, there's probably half of it's rejected and has to be fucking retouched and yeah. gone over again. There's a lot of um, intricacies to it. A lot of stuff when you sew, you can sew fast, and if the, if the machine untensions, it's in a place you'll never see it. Um, and you can just put some more thread. You can inject some more thread back over it. In toxic, you can't do that. Like when you when you're sewing a, a long line, 20 inch line of toxic thread, and you run out of thread, you can't just back up four inches, tack it in, and come out. They literally have to pull that whole line out. Otherwise, it looks like shit. You've got this perfect straight line with this glaring fucking extra thread right here. So that's, they don't do that. They don't do fucking dog harnesses. No big deal. We have a shitload of wallets right now. We have a shitload of, we're about to do a fucking ton of visor covers. Uh, seat back panels we're doing. Um, shooting mats, we started doing shooting mats. Um, you can stop posting. I hope that, did, hey, where's mine? I saw you sewing these. All the shooting mats we uh, built, they all went to open orders. And if they shipped to open orders, there were orders in colors that we hadn't done yet or older than yours. So you don't need to see this video and go, hey, did you forget me? We didn't forget you. Nothing gets forgotten. Um, what else we got? Except find? Tyler at the mole that one time. Tyler. <laughs> but that's, that's just Tyler. We usually find him holding somebody's yeah. hand. It's weird because he usually has a child's hand. Not his child. No. It's usually the child coming to find us. Yes, taking yeah. him or taking him to security to drop him off. <laughs> Here, I found your adult. I found your around. adult walking around. He seems lost. Yeah. And hungry. <laughs> hungry. The fodder's going well. You've already ran through your first run of fodder, right? Yeah, we just started a bunch. Well, we start a bucket every day, but now that we have uh, barley. Yeah, yeah. God, that fucking that stinks. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. That, that was the bitter one, right? Mm, yeah, the barley, the barley was the, the barley super bitter. The more bitter. I gotta move over to this side. It's yeah, fucking up the light on the this camera. To draw a lot of moths, man. Moths and butterflies get trapped in here all the time. I don't know why. It's because it wants to eat them. Maybe. It attracts a lot of flies. All right, that's all I got. Turn that off. Load that up. We'll try to shoot another video here.